78% of suicide rates worldwide are men, what can we do to help them? Offer compliments once in a while. Those are so hard to come by, but are a complete game changer. This is toxic masculinity. We need to figure out what healthy masculinity is as a society, and start teaching it. Equality, really. Stop treating women like shit, give them the same opportunities, and stop acting like all men are sexist and are the only sexist people. Love. Stop pathologizing masculinity. Stop playing depressing ass songs when I have the other airpod in. Question their manhood and tell them to man up when they are depressed. Is one of the worst things we can say to them. Send some love. Shame them for everything? I think it's because there's just too much that's for men in this society. Too much pressure to work your ass off and get your shit together. This is just my perspective, but it feels like it's expected that guys just suck it up when it comes to emotional problems. Shit happens to all of us, and we all need some love. Tell them that expressing feelings and seeking help isn't weak or not masculine, or at least supporting these kind of things. This is exactly correct, we're being told that we can open up, but when we do we're shot down in the most horrible ways which makes us close off even more than we did before. And I'd go so far as to say sometimes when we open up people tell us that maybe we're actually a woman, when we're just upset. Masculinity being so harshly murdered and criticized is another problem, because as men what the fuck else can we be if we can't be masculine? Kill all men slash s. But on a serious note, I think the biggest and immediate change would be to get rid of toxic masculinity. We live in a world where men aren't allowed to show their feelings and the idea of men being raped and abuse is one that too many people don't believe and some even make fun of. Men have to be men and can't enjoy things seen as feminine. It's bullshit. It's all bullshit. I think if we get rid of that bullshit don't degrade men for showing feelings, treat abuse and rape victims just as we do women, let them enjoy girly things then it'll be a good start to push that 78% suicide rate down. But just the start. Don't make men feel inferior for wanting to be gentle or kind. Society thinks men need to be hard all the time. As a dude, that's probably the one thing that seems to depress me the most so I'd assume others feel the same way. Not sure if this will be read but anyway. The stigma against men seeking mental health treatment. I'm UIN and I was caring for a guy after his surgery. He started to cry and I asked him what was wrong. He had recently been widowed with several kids. Naturally he was grieving and depressed. I asked him if he had sought grief counseling. He said and I quote I can't do that, I'm a man. It broke my heart. Allow men to show their emotions, stop expecting men to always pay for dates. Yell at them for being privileged. Ask men they are okay. And make it okay to talk about not being okay. Actually take them seriously when they say they have been abused whether it be sexually or in any way whatsoever. Stop making just female help centers. Stop expecting men to man up every time they're down and actually try to help them. Older men are the majority. Teach them it's okay to seek help. Show them there is no judgment. Get rid of the stigma that men are supposed to be tough and not have feeling. Help and reach out to them. Hello, male here. I work in an industry that has been known to have the highest rates of suicide in the UK. Construction. And I feel that if we could incorporate how the construction industry handles mental health we would probably get the word out there a lot better. Every site I go on to, every job I start on we encourage constantly the importance of being able to talk to someone. We have regular sit-downs to discuss things, introduce new mental health first aiders to everyone on site. We provide facilities where people can unwind and let out their problems. As an industry, we actively go out and spread the word not just with adverts or flyers but by talking to people. Now I understand that doing this in the outside world isn't entirely possible but if we teach people in more industries and working environments I believe this can be highly beneficial. We need to break down this social masculine wall that everyone has put up and truly show people that it's okay to not be okay. 
I myself am a huge believer in being kind and caring in this industry surrounded by I can do anything no problem men and it throws people off but they do over time see that my worries are genuine and that I do care. It should be socially acceptable for men to have a healthy relationship with their emotions. Like, it should be okay for men to cry when they're unhappy, but the only places they can do that is in their own bedrooms or in a dark place like a movie theater. Make it more socially acceptable for them to express their feelings. Change the perception that treatment for mental health is for the weak. That men should push their feelings down and carry on. Two girls have complimented my teeth in the past six years, I remember their names. Compliments matter. I think we can improve those numbers by giving suicide jumpers a push to the right direction. I think dropping all the double standards would be a good start. Get rid of the saying boys don't cry. Everybody should be allowed to show their emotion in the way they want to. Encourage women to even the odds. Lose the ideal that men are strong and can cope with the pressures of modern society. Adult life is shit for everyone at various points and enforcing stereotypes means blokes won't share the burdens they carry on their shoulders. Recognize the signs that things are becoming too much for someone. If a man wants to sit around on the weekend for some well-deserved R&R just to unwind it's not because he's lazy, it's because sometimes we need to just do nothing. For me it's not a question of gender but humanity. We need to rehumanize our existence. We live feeling stressed the whole time, we depend on timetables that other people organize, on how much money we can spend to have our basic needs met, on friendships that can't be nurtured because we don't have time. Why do we live like that? I'm a girl with suicidal tendencies. Serious answer? Accept that manning up isn't the problem, and reach out to those who are in desperate need of help. No one is worthless, and if we make an effort, we can drastically lower the rate of suicide across the board. Joke answer? Tell women to bump up those rookie numbers. Find a way to make them feel important. I am blessed in nearly every aspect of my life. Except for the fact that I don't feel important to anyone else. And it's a biggie. Not fucking ignore their feelings. From a guy, suffering with depression. Actually letting men talk about their feelings. Help a homie out smile. Deleted. Don't say man up. It's fucking stupid. Why? What does it even mean? Don't express your feelings because you have a penis? You can't be sad. You're not meant to feel that. Come on, world. Not make depression slash mental illness a disqualifier for holding certain jobs. Better to have people present themselves for treatment so the underlying issues can be managed than to have people snap because they've been trying to hide what's going on out of fear of losing their livelihood. From what I see us males don't open up to depression as much as women would. I may be going all joker here but I blame society. Men are seen as strong humans and don't often get upset and I'd believe most of these men didn't open up because of the male stereotype. Tell them that their feelings are valid and if they are feeling upset that they can talk to someone instead of keeping IT inside like I did until I finally broke because it is not okay for girls emotions to be treated as valid when men are seen as weak. I swear to god anyone who says that men shouldn't cry I will personally snap their neck. Maybe care for them and not push them away when they need you most. Don't know why you got downvoted, but this could help a bit. It's incredibly easy to feel invisible and like you don't matter when you receive absolutely zero positive attention. Yeah it also sounds weird to someone saying men need to open up and cry more. Yet they make jokes about how someone is probably a virgin or deaf has a small dick as if those aren't reasons for insecurity. Hugs, compliments and cuddles. Men does not get enough of these things. Stop calling all men oppressors and shit. It gets old and it's not true. I bet a lot of what pushes men down the dark path is a pent up urge for physical and emotional intimacy, and not being able to release it drives them insane. Of course there are other factors too, but I think this is the thing looming in the background for most downtrodden men. Dating is a lot harder for men. Women get to be the choosers while men have to chase and chase to get rejected again and again. 
very common in the animal world, but the fact that we have sentience and emotions means we have a psyche that constant rejection, or just straight inattention, wears down upon.